I think we were always innovating. We were always thinking outside the box. And so we entered an industry, the printing industry, which is still incredibly male dominated. And a lot of it's old school, like things, you know, the technologies and that sort of thing. Um, Doing the kind of small run on demand printing we were doing at the time, people told us we were like crazy. It would never work. Like we had a lot of that. And so we really were just like, you know, stop talking. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it. This is where we're going to go. And so I think that that really gave us, and, you know, we, we brought, we didn't listen to all the people, but we did bring those key people in. And I think you have to have something of a process where, You're going to hire or find somebody who can advise you on something, but you have to be careful not to overly consult, right? And and I felt this at times and I see it at times with entrepreneurs that I work with where, you know, if you want eight different people to weigh in, you will have a very hard time making that decision because you're going to get eight very different opinions, right? And so like, how many people are you going to consult and then how are you going to make that decision? When are you going to say, that's enough, that's enough now? And now we need to rank the different, you know, what are the most important things? How are we going to get down this path now to to making a decision? Because also getting too much advice, being in inertia and not making a decision is a decision, right? Like, like, you know, you've got to kind of figure that, that stuff out. And I think we just, you know, people thought we were a little crazy and we didn't care that much. And so, you know, we were lucky that was one of the lucky things of having four founders was that we had each other to bounce the things off and we were on the same page about going for it. 